I must say I'm looking forward to uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg's um, broadcast this evening. I will catch up probably later on. Um, on, uh, I can't remember whether it's GB News or Talk TV, who cares? Um, but I wonder if he is familiar with the seven deadly sins. Uh, there are seven of them. What is pride, hate, gluttony, sloth, lust, greed, and envy. And I've always wondered why hypocrisy is not one of the seven deadly sins. It does seem that it ought to be a seven deadly sin, but it isn't. And why do I mention this? Because Jacob Rees-Mogg this morning was caught uh, getting into a car, going off to church. Perfectly reasonable, um, though a bit odd uh, that this was the beginning of the business day and Parliament was sitting at that time. But he pointed out, Holy Day of Obligation, he is a Catholic, the Feast of St. Peter and Paul. I would have thought that um, reputable Catholic churches around London would have an evening service or an early morning service so he could slot that into his daily working schedule but then he pointed out he was off to the test match at Lord's. Now this is the same person who when he was a minister went around civil servants demanding that they were putting in a full working day in the office and was rather incensed that some of them were working at home. Now, does that not come quite close to a definition of hypocrisy? He takes the day off on a working day, but doesn't expect civil servants to take the day off on a working day, or indeed expects civil servants to be in the office um, struggling with their paperwork and with the problems that he presents to them. I should have thought, I should have thought that's... A clear definition of hypocrisy, but not a, not one of the seven deadly sins. So um, maybe Jacob Rees-Mogg can uh, can excuse himself and receive communion with impunity.